if you are a guest and you want to book a car for somebody else, just give them your credit card information. Allow them to book the vehicle. Welcome back, my channel. Welcome back to the channel, Believe in Yourself. And I thank you guys for tuning in. This series right here is going to be talking about the Turo Host Tips for Beginners. If you're somebody that's looking to get into the platform, this is the series that you want to watch and tune into. I'll be catching you guys on the next video, but make sure you like, comment, definitely subscribe. Peace. Because I've had situations where in the past I have allowed the secondary driver to pick up the vehicle because the main driver booked the vehicle. Now I've allowed that because they communicated with me, you know, weeks before the trip, they already had the book. And I was being greedy, I didn't want to lose the booking. But in hindsight, that's not really what you want to do, you know, because the person that's liable for the vehicle and that you're supposed to give the vehicle to, especially because I do remote handoffs, or even if you hand it off in person, Turo's gonna realize you did not hand it off to the person that booked the vehicle. Uh, so when those things happen, you're crossing your fingers, hoping like, hey, I hope nothing happens to the vehicle because technically this other person is also um, in charge, but they're not the person who picked up the vehicle. And I'm not 100% sure on if there's an incident and because you gave the vehicle to the secondary driver not the primary driver how that would go about being resolved i have a i have a feeling Toro probably still would honor the request but like i said i've never been through that situation and i really don't that's a gray area um, i don't really know how that would go um but if you are a guest and you want to book a car for somebody else, just give them your credit card information. Allow them to book the vehicle and then give them your credit card information and let them book it. Because for you to add them as an additional driver, they have to become a, on the Turo platform anyway. So somebody's saying, well, I don't have the Turo app. Can you just book it for me? Is it relevant? You understand what I'm saying? Because for them to drive the car and to be able to legally drive the car when you give it to them, they have to be added as an additional driver, which makes them liable anyway. So it's almost like, why even get your name and, and your insurance involved if you're just paying for the car, but you don't want to be responsible for any damages that occur to the car, right? So I just feel like it makes sense because I've had this happen in the future. I probably still would because I want the book. I'm not going to lie. Turo's been a little bit flaky right now it's a slow season so in the slow season like you want to get as many bookings in there as it can um but maybe when it's a little bit more busy i probably will say no you can't do that you need to just let them book it and you can use your credit card you know i may explain it like that you know give them those options now that i'm thinking about it but yeah man in the future if you have a vehicle and you want to get it on Turo. You, I mean, not a vehicle, get it on Turo, but if you want to rent a vehicle for someone on Turo and you're not going to be the host to pick it, guest to pick it up, just allow them to rent it. Because to book the rental under your name and then add them as the guest, and then you have to communicate with the host, hey, I'm not going to pick up the vehicle, this person's going to pick up the vehicle. It's just a whole bunch of running around. Just cut all that out. Turo has it explicitly in their things. All you have to do is be old enough to have a valid driver's license in the U.S. or Canada, and they can book the car themselves. So... I'm just talking about a specific instance, obviously, whether or not if you should book a vehicle and all these things and how you should book it if you're not going to be the person picking it up, if you have additional drivers. I'm just talking about things that I have gone through. But going back to the original question, yes, if you're booking a vehicle and you need to add additional drivers, there's no extra cost to it. I know some places, um, rental car companies sometimes charge you for adding additional drivers, especially if the NVR isn't good. Here at Turo, there's no additional charge for that. You can add as many drivers as you want at no extra cost. So do your thing, man. Enjoy. Love the platform. And I'll call at you guys on the next one. Peace. As long as you believe you can't make it, you won't make it. As long as you believe that you can do it, you will do it.